What was good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel to the Fan TV, man. Back at you another video. Like the content in this video, go ahead and smash that like button. The content in this channel, go ahead and subscribe, man. Look, it's been a little minute. You know, we haven't talked since the Ravens uh, end of the season press conference. You know what I mean? Take some time off a little bit. But we got to talk about this Ravens OC search, man. Um, the Ravens are casting a wide net like John Harbaugh said they would. And I want to go over the names of the guys that they talked to so far, look at their backgrounds, things like that, and, and see if we can find some things to comment about these guys, right? So it's going to be um, some in-house names, the requested interviews, and some some rumors, some people that the Ravens have been linked with, but maybe not have gotten to the building just yet, right? All right. So let, let's start with the in-house names, all right? Like I said before, this guy was no surprise to me. was T. Martin, all right? Um, wide receivers coach currently. He's the he's a former QB at Tennessee. Uh, he has He's called plays before at USC before being let go from that job. And he's been with the Ravens since 2021. So familiarity there. We know how the Ravens like to promote from within. Um, so that, that move wouldn't surprise me, okay? James Urban, QB coach. Um, he's been in the NFL since 04 as far as coaching-wise. Been with the Ravens since 2018. But to me, this is unlikely. All right. And this is unlikely because not saying he has a bad relationship with Lamar Jackson, but I don't think this is the kind of hire that would get Lamar Jackson excited. And I say that because now, listen, Lamar Jackson brought his own QB coach to training camp. Now, all QBs during the offseason, pretty much all QBs, especially top level guys and guys coming into the league, have a QB coach that they work out with during the summer, during the offseason, whatever. No problem with that. That's all normal. You usually don't see those guys bring their QB coach to training camp. So when, when Lamar Jackson brought Adam Nadeau to training camp, that was a little strange. That was a little weird. Most people mention that. Like, you don't typically see that, okay? So not saying he doesn't. He has a bad relationship with James Urban, but I just don't see that. That's the kind of guy that would get Lamar Jackson excited as far as, yeah, he's calling plays for me now. So I think it's unlikely, all right? Now, interview requests, all right? So guys from around the league that, that we've known that Ravens have reached out to. All right. Zach Martin, past game coordinator for the Rams. Young. He's young, 36 years old, former QB, Oklahoma State. You can see a lot of these similarities in these guys. He's been coaching with the Rams since 2019. He became the past game coordinator this year, 2022. All right. Next guy, Chad O'Shea, another past game coordinator. NFL coach since 2003. He was on the Patriots staff for 10 years from 09 to 2018 as their wide receivers coach. Okay. He had one season as an offensive coordinator. I was with the Dolphins 2019, and he's been with the Browns since 2020. He's their pass game coordinator. Like I said, he's also their wide receiver coach too. So that's a guy that can work with receivers. All right, that's cool. Now, uh, Dave Canales, uh, Seahawks quarterback coach, right? 41 years old. He's been with the Seahawks since 2010. He's been their QB coach. He's been their wide receivers coach. He's been their pass game coordinator, right? All during his tenure as far as uh, being in Seattle. Right now, he's the QB coach, and we see what happened with Geno Smith, okay? So, you know, that I'm not going to say that's 100% attributed to him. Of course, Geno Smith put in the time and the effort, and he was ready to stash his opportunity. But that's a good sign to me, all right? Um, so if I say this guy's name, last name wrong, you know, please forgive me. His name is Brian Angela Chio. I think I said it right, all right? I'm not going to say it again, but, you know. All right. Vikings pass game coordinator, NFL coach since 2012. He also has a lot of experience in college before that. Um, he's been coaching tight ends since uh, at, at a college level since 06, right? And he started at Pittsburgh University, all right? He's coached tight ends in the NFL for six different teams, all right? So he's been around the block as far as NFL, and he's coached a lot of tight ends, all right? Now, he's been the Vikings pass game coordinator this past season, him and Kevin O'Connor, I believe, worked together in Washington. So he brought him over from Washington to um, the Vikings. You know, obviously Kevin O'Connor came from the, the Rams before that. But when his time was in Washington, this is when these two gentlemen worked together. All right. So that's what it looks like right there. Now, new name that came out today, right? Um, Justin Alton, uh, the Broncos offensive coordinator. OK, so he's been in the NFL since 2015 as a coach, 39 years old. Uh, he's a former Packers tight end coach. He did that from 2019 to 2021. Uh, like I said, he's the Broncos offensive coordinator. Now, this is interesting because the Broncos have been linked with Sean Payton heavily. He apparently he's going in there for a second interview, which means that they probably have a good chance of landing Sean Payton. And Sean Payton typically calls his own plays, right? You know, he's the coach and offensive coordinator. So this guy potentially could be out of a job if he doesn't, you know, get this. You know what I mean? So that's interesting. Um, also, you know, they said that I saw somebody put a tweet out that, you know, the Broncos ran for like 200 yards in their last game of the regular season versus the Chargers, which is 
probably their best offensive display, honestly, this year. Russell Wilson looked good in that game. The running game looked good. And uh, that would be somebody that John Harbaugh would be interested in because he can keep the run game going and keep the identity of the team uh, going. But still upgrade the pass game, hopefully, right? All right. Now, from those names, we can see a common thread. Pass game coordinator. The Ravens are making an objective and a mission to find a guy who can elevate the pass game, right? The Ravens want to have this run game still be good, still be potent, still be powerful, but they want to be able to put pressure on the teams when they throw in the football, all right? So all of these guys have pretty much been pass game coordinators, QB, coach, whatever. Something where it has to involve throwing the football. So the Ravens are very clear in the direction that they're going. Now, the last people I want to talk about is names that have been linked with the Ravens, but we haven't seen an official interview request, all right? Uh, Byron Leftwich, uh, Bucks, well, former Bucks offensive coordinator, all right? Former first-round pick at quarterback, long-time Jacksonville Jaguar. I believe he won the Super Bowl with the Steelers as, the, as their backup quarterback, okay? Uh, but he's been the NFL coach since 2016, came in under Bruce Arians. This guy was a rising star. There was even a chance that, excuse me, before Doug Peterson got the job in Jacksonville, that Byron Leftwich was heavily linked with the job and almost accepted the offer, but I think him and the uh, general manager had some type of disconnect, and he didn't want to work with that guy, and it, it just fell apart from there. Obviously, the Jaguars are happy with that because they got Doug Peterson. He's been amazing for them. Uh, but he's been Tampa Bay's offensive coordinator. Uh, Brian Leverage has been Tampa Bay's offensive coordinator since 2019. Obviously, he was let go this past season. Now, uh, I, I do like this guy. I think I am interested in him. Uh, what he would bring coming out of Bruce Arias is a very aggressive, attacking kind of passing offense. And we couldn't see the best out of what Byron Leverage could do because we got to be honest, Tom Brady's arm is not what it used to be. And Tom Brady's um, willingness to stand in the pocket and potentially take a hit is also not what it used to be. So that affected the offense, right? Not saying Byron Leverage was perfect or anything like that, but it wasn't the best situation this season for the Patriots. I mean, that's right, I almost said the Patriots. For the Buccaneers, excuse me. Um, now, next guy, who the Braves been linked with? Frank Wright, all right? Former Colts head coach, all right? Former quarterback, played 14 years. He actually went to the University of Maryland, all right? Uh, he's been in the NFL as a coach since 2006. And his, I think the highlight, the two highlights on his resume is 2016, 2017 as the Eagles offensive coordinator. Uh, Carson Wentz really should have won the MVP underneath of his tutelage, but he got hurt. I think they played the Rams like round, like it was like maybe two, three games up in the season. It cost him once towards ACL, right? Um, but that season, if he doesn't get injured, he cost him once it's probably the MVP. And Frank Wright was the one calling the plays, all right? Um, then he all, he goes on to be the coach, offensive coordinator. And I'm sorry, not offensive coordinator, sorry, head coach for the Colts. And uh, things just kind of fall apart there. For our, they never could get the QB position, right? Andrew Luck is gone, retired, and everything like that. And it was just an adult, a revolving door of old quarterbacks. He could never get that situation right. But I do believe he's a good offensive mind and a great offensive coordinator. And he would be a guy that if the Ravens would be able to bring him in, I'd be very, very excited about that. To me, that would remind me of like when Gary Kubiak came here. We knew he wasn't going to be here for long, maybe a season, maybe two, before he looks for his next opportunity to go be a head coach again. So I think Frank Wright could do that, right? He comes here, has a very successful tenure. On to the next one as a head coach. He's because he's, he's 61 years old, you know what I mean? So he's not, I don't think he's looking to be an OC for long term. You know, he's looking for the next probably head coaching opportunity. You feel me? All right. Now, uh, last guy the Ravens have been linked with, all right? Eric B. Enemy, Chiefs offensive coordinator, former NFL running back, played nine seasons in the NFL, uh, really good at uh, Colorado in college, right? Been an NFL coach since 06. He's been with the Chiefs since 2013. He was their running backs coach 2013 to 2017. He became a offensive coordinator in 2018. Now, we know how dominant and explosive the Chiefs' offense is. Um, but the thing with Eric Enemy that's probably cost him opportunities is the fact that people don't know how much credit to give to Eric Enemy, right? Because they don't know whether to say, is this Andy Reid's offense? Well, obviously, it's Andy Reid's offense, but who's calling the plays during the game? Is it Andy Reid? Is it Eric Enemy? Do they share those duties back and forth? How does that work? So, I think that's really cost him as far as getting the job down the line, but... Look, put it like this. He's been under Andy Reid for over 10 years now. So this offense that he would bring here, if it's anything like the Chiefs offense, it'd be interesting, it'd be exciting, and it'd be a good watch on Sundays, Mondays, or Thursdays whenever the Ravens play, right? So those are the guys that have been linked with the Ravens. Those are the guys um, so far, all right, when this video comes out. Um, that's that backgrounds. Um, if I'm looking at the names, I, I will say this. 
I like um, I like Left Witch. I like the enemy. I like Frank Wright. All the guys that they were linked to that haven't really officially interviewed with Quest. I like all those guys. As far as the official interviews, I like Zach Robinson coming from the Rams. That wide zone play action run scheme. I like that. Um, and I, I like Dave Canales from the Seahawks. Right. I think the Seahawks will still give the Ravens that run game and that pass game. So those are those are the guys that I really really like right there. All right, uh, give me your thoughts on these names, um, and tell me about anybody that you would like. I think somebody that has been interviewed that I like is the current Eagles QB coach Brian Johnson. Um, I will hope to see that his name pops up one of these days, but I know they're currently busy, you know, in the NFC Championship game. So congrats to them on that. All right, uh, but yeah, let me know your ideas for officer coordinator in the uh, in the comments below. We'll talk about it there. It's your boy Gabriel, just another fan TV. I'm out.